Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Morgan James book launch. My name is Jim Howard. I'm the publisher for Morgan James. And today I'm excited because we've got one of our amazing fiction authors with us today. We have Brent Ladd. And Brent is the author of Cold Quarry, a Cody Sanders thriller. Brent, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And that's an incredible cover. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. I'm happy to do it, Jim. Oh man, outstanding. So let's jump right into it. What what inspired you to write this story? Okay, so uh, Cold Quarry is actually the third in a series that's ongoing and there's more to come, mind you. Uh, and uh, it all started back when several years ago when my son was much younger, somewhere around nine years old. And I realized at this point that I had a, a nine-year-old boy who was a non-reader and that was not going to fly in my house. So I uh, determined to myself, I was going to write a, a, like a boy's first chapter book and put uh, him as one of the characters in it. So I basically kind of came up with this kind of clever little fun book called The Adventures of Brady Ladd. And that is his name. And uh, it planted a seed honestly and I think probably two years later I had a month off from work I usually work as a film director uh and I had a month off and I sat down and I kind of had outlined a few ideas and it just started flowing so I just wrote solid for a month and got 80 percent of the book kind of roughed in and uh it's uh, effectively planted a creative angle for me that I can't let go of because <laughs> I've now gotten through five books. So like I say, more to come. I'm on another completely different uh, series starting now. So it's really consumed my free time <laughs> in between uh, real work. I love, and, uh, I love, I love free time. The, I love the pure creativity that, uh, you know, fiction can bring you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's so fun. Um, and you say free time, like any of us have that, right? But <laughs> so, you know, especially in your case, you've got so many books already and more planned to come, like you said, but uh, that can be a difficult process, especially in fiction, just kind of getting to the finish line of a story. So what motivates you to get there? What motivates you to get to that point where you're like, did it? I, well, I think one of my traits is I'm very task focused. So mm. I don't kind of rest until I get to the finish line, whether it's, you know, refinishing a table and chairs or, or writing a book. And so I, um, I kind of ha have that ingrained in me, but, but part of the trick is I, uh, I commit, you know, when I have a, when I have a window, I commit to that window and I stay true to it and I'll sit down at the desk and stare at the screen if I have to until words start to flow. Uh, and so that's really a big part of what helps me get to the end is that commitment and dedication to put time into it consistently. And if you got to go away for three weeks, you got to go away. It's OK. Don't don't let that be a burden on you, but get back on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like like a lot of things. You just got to keep at it and keep yeah. at it till it's there. Is that do you find that that helps with um you know, overcoming that that writer's block or a lot of times with creatives, especially it's interesting because creatives are you, you look at a creative and you say, OK, they're ultra creative. So their imagination is always flowing and things are always coming together. But creatives hit walls, too. So is there any trick to getting over that that wall? Uh, well, I kind of look at it like I'm naturally a little competitive, I might add. Uh, <laughs> and so I look at it like a competition. Right. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to beat this wall one way or another. I also allow myself permission to what I call write badly. So if I'm having a creative wall and it's not quite working, I still allow myself just, just get through the scene and get onto something else. Mm -hmm. You can come back later. You might change it completely. You might fix it and make it better. Uh, but don't be afraid to move forward. And I think that's a big part of how I overcome. You start writing and then a solution will somehow present itself. And even if it's down the road and you come back and fix it, that's okay. So I allow myself that permission. And that's a big part of how I don't just get blocked up and just doomed. But uh, I have to admit that one of my styles in writing is I tend to write myself into a corner on purpose <laughs> where I don't know how I'm going to get out, which uh, I think lets the book be less linear, mm. but it also might spend a week of a challenge trying to sort this out in a clever way that gets me out of this 
dead end that I've written myself into. So by design, I do that often. And so maybe that helps me get over those walls because I'm always, I'm building half the walls I'm trying to get over. <laughs> you know, but that's got to be an awesome feeling when you write something and you find yourself cornered and you're trying to panic to figure out how you're going to get out of that space. And that just leaves the reader with something to enjoy because you know, they're on that cliffhanger with you. So that, that's yeah. incredible. And I, I can't tell you how good it feels as a writer when you come up with something clever and different and it works right in your story, it just, it's a great feeling, honestly. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, you've written, uh, like you said, a, a number of books in this series and you're on to other things, but um, I know people are out here gonna watch this and watch our conversation and they're gonna wanna know more, wanna know more about the first couple of books in this series and, and other things that you're putting together. So what's the best way for anyone watching today to connect with you? Well, uh, I happy to get emails anytime and you can you can contact me through my website. That's pretty easy. It's brentladbooks.com. So it's pretty straight up. And uh, I'm happy to share advice, share opinions, say hi, whatever. And uh, I hope I, so far we're getting really good reviews on all three books. And I hope that continues to grow. And I and the thing that makes me happy, of course, is when someone enjoys that sits down and enjoys the read and even more so when they say something about it. It, it really does my heart good. So um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, Cody Sanders and all the stuff that she gets herself into and how she gets out of it. <laughs> well, I know the readers that pick it up will. And I encourage all of you guys out there watching, grab a copy, um, go back to the beginning. Uh, but Cold Quarry is available everywhere books are sold. So if you're already a fan of, of Cody Sanders, make sure you grab a copy of this book and, and continue that journey. And, and if you haven't already, if you're not yet, go on, grab book one, get started and, uh, and catch up to, to Cold Quarry. And, yeah. and uh, it's a standalone. So you, you don't, you know, you don't necessarily have to go in order. This is the, this is the current one. And honestly, as a writer, I continue to get better in my opinion. So there you have it. <laughs> so perfect. Perfect. Well, um, thank you, Brent, for taking the time to talk with me today and, and more importantly, for, for using your imagination. And, and I love the inspiration, right? Writing that first book for your son, because you're bound and determined he's going to read a book, even if this is and he's a reader. He now. He's a reader. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for uh, continuing on your journey. These are incredible books, and I can't wait for people to get their hands on them. Thanks so much, Jim. I really appreciate your time. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation, but more importantly, I hope you get a copy of Cold Quarry. Uh, I know for a fact you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be available everywhere books are sold. So grab your copy now. And until our next one, uh, have a great day and we hope to see you soon. Yeah. Ditto.